Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my crimping tool which I've had for a while and I never made a video of it and I'm going to show some other weird things about it. I believe it's the Klein Tools VDV 226-011 Always wear eye protection. Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan is good because it's not China. So does what do they call that? That's RJ45 and what do they call the telephone jack? RJ something. RJ11 was it? I don't know. 4P 8P Oh, it's 6, 6P too? It does another one on this side? Um, 8 pair, 6 pair, 4 pair. Um, I didn't know that. Does this thing even switch or something? I don't know. I see something over here. I don't know. Never used. That's like a cutter, I think, which I've never used. It's another cutter, which I think I've never used. Um, hold on, is it gonna work? No. Uh, works nice though because it's ratcheting, kind of, but not really. Um, but it, I like it because it crimps down when you're making a, uh, a cat cable, like, or why the fuck I call it cat cable, Ethernet cable for your computer. Excuse my language, this is how I talk, I talk like crap. Um, it comes down even as the little thing comes down to crimp the connectors. I had one, um, that was not like this. It was more like this, angled like this, and you just went down. I noticed they used to crimp one side more than the other. I bought like the cheapest Chinese one. I still have it. I kind of fixed it when it stopped working. It kept on giving me unreliable crimps. But then I uh, fixed it just by loosening and tightening it and eyeballing it. I got it a little better, but still it was crimping more on this side than that side. So this comes down evenly, which I like. And it's been a great tool, but this is what boggled my mind when I came in the package, it was locked. I was like, it doesn't lock anymore. Then it has like this unlock thing over here. I was like, okay. But how you lock it, won't lock. But if you go one, hold it gently. Oh, but it's locked it there. Two, I want too much. It's three clicks that will lock on. One, two, three. As tight as you can get it. You see it's locked now? Isn't that cool? I didn't even know how to do this. Didn't say in the directions, nothing. And then you do it, you just hit it like that. But one, two, three. Alright, one too far. One, two, three. Locks. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Nobody tells you how to do that though. So I had this for a very long time and it confused me. But awesome crimper, I just used it again before to make, uh, um, what did I make? I made four connections. I am so slow at these little connect. I made Cat 5e just because I had a whole bunch of Cat 5e and then what I'm using for sucks anyway. Cat 5e in the wall, no point in using Cat 6 or better. But, uh, yeah. I am so slow at making these things. I've never survived being a low, what do I call that, a low voltage cabling person like people who run phone lines and ethernet cables I think in some areas too like up north they have their own unions and stuff they're probably making six figures running on um, cable and buildings with contracts but yeah that's good decent uh, tool though probably like thirty dollars now probably last year I got it for like twenty two dollars so now it's probably at least thirty two dollars or maybe forty two dollars now with the price of things I'm not sure but uh yeah if you're looking for a thing try to find a deal on one it's been a good unit. I just keep it on top of my computer with a uh, million dollars in cash and other things. Oh, I gotta cash that in. And this gets nice and dusty. And there is my. Um, let's go this way? No, the other way. There's my uh, holder for um, memory cards. It's a Lego set. Yeah. Pretty cool. And a gay bear. Yeah. I kind of guessed right, but there it is, the baby right there. Some people don't like it. I like it. Uh, it does not do pass-through connectors, but I don't care about that anyway. 
because um, I'm not really a fan of pass-through connectors. Still made in Taiwan. Uh, I saw that. I was like, yeah, made in Taiwan. They was like, you know what? Made in Taiwan is good. And it really is. It's just China over there. Maybe it is made in China now. Who the hell knows? That's made in Taiwan. But, uh, yeah. Some people hate it. Some people like it. Amazon lists 10 of the same things because it's Amazon. They have a weird website. Uh, what else are they going to show? I need one for, uh, coax next. A little coax stripper one. But, uh, yeah, $29. No, that's a lot of money. Paying $22 is a lot for it, I think. Yeah, like, something like this, I need, like, a stripper thing. A little crimper thing, that's way too much money. But, uh, you know, that's a stripper. I saw something that was more affordable, but then again, the price of everything goes up by the week, so maybe it was not affordable anymore. Yeah, I need something like that to do, uh, coaxial stuff. Yeah. So, that is all. Good tool. Don't have any complaints with it. When something works, I'd like to show it. I had it for years, sitting on top of my computer case, collecting dust, and uh, I use it once in a while. It just takes me like five minutes to do every plug because I'm slow as hell. It should only take me a minute, but it takes me like five minutes to do a plug. Like one. So like one cord will take me like ten minutes just messing with it. But sometimes, after like, you know, the third try, which what I did, it only takes me about three minutes. So... We sped up. I would never be a low voltage technician person because I am too slow. But we get it done. Years ago, and the cable end used to break on an uh, Ethernet cable. I used to just throw it away because I didn't know. Yeah, good tool. And you lock it, three clicks.